Oliver from Rugby League, in my opinion, here, and overnight Jack Whiten was awarded the 2020 Dally and Medal for Player of the Year, and this has sparked a fair bit of controversy, I think to say the least. Uh, obviously, first of all, turns out the results were indeed leaked by the Daily Telegraph a couple hours before the event. I was sent screenshots, as I'm sure many of you were, and online it was everywhere. But, you know, I wanted to wait and see the results myself, as I'm sure a lot of people did. They thought, okay, look, it, it, it's coming from the Daily Telegraph that it was leaked, but you can't be sure until you're sure. You know what I mean? And you can't be sure until you see it. So congratulations to Jack White. And however, as I said, a bit of controversy. A lot of people believe Nathan Cleary should have won it. Uh, but based off of the last round of voting, um, a lot of people believe Clinton Gutherson should have won the award. I will say this, within the confines and within the system of voting of the Dahlia medal, the 3-2-1 every round, every game, uh, from different judges, whether that's an ex-player or someone in the media, Jack Whiten won the Dahlia medal fair and square. However... I personally believe, and I know many people will echo my sentiments, maybe others won't, that's fine. I personally believe throughout the entire 2020 NRL regular season, Nathan Cleary was the best player. That is my opinion. And as I said, I believe many others will echo my sentiments because leading into the Dallium Awards, he was the favourite. And all you would see anywhere is that Nathan Cleary is going to clearly win it, is that it's a one-horse race, etc., etc. Uh, Nathan Cleary was probably more a sure thing to win the 2020 Dahlia medal than James Tesco was winning the 2019 Dahlia medal. And we know how obvious it was that Teddy was going to win it last year. Everyone was backing him, and he did win it in the end. Um, and I'd say Nathan Cleary's hype for winning it was as big, if not bigger. I think he was even more of a sure thing, which obviously in the end, Jack White won it. Uh, so that wasn't the case. Now, it, it, I think we're looking at a flawed system here. And I know I sound like a broken record, but the Dallium voting system just, it doesn't work currently because as I said, in my opinion, and in the opinion of many others, Nathan Cleary was the best player throughout the entire 2020 NRL season. If you want to argue for those past few weeks, Whiten was better than Cleary, sure, he may well have been. But pound for pound for the entire year, Nathan Cleary was the best in my opinion. In my opinion, Clinton Gutherson was even up there with Nathan Cleary above Whiten for the whole season, I believe. Did Whiten have a good season? Of course he did. Had an amazing year. I would say for probably the first well, 10 rounds or so, maybe even the first 13 or so rounds, he was up and down. He'd have a couple of really good games and a couple of games where he he, he just wasn't, he wasn't quite there. Um, and that also is partly due to George Williams having some really good games as well. Um, it was rare to see both Williams and Whiten have a good game at the same time, in my opinion. Um... But yeah, I'd say it was an up and down start to the year, then a really strong end to the year, where I'd say Cleary was up there for the entire season, Gutherson was up there for the entire season. Personally, I believe Jack Whiten's 2019 was better than his 2020 as a whole. As a whole, I actually believe he had a better season last year. Um, and, you know, you could see that, I think, yesterday, possibly Sunday. No, I think it was Sunday. I put up who I thought were going to be the contenders for the Dahlia medal Jack Whiten was not even a contender in my mind. I, did, I thought, yes, he's had a great end to the season, but it, it just wasn't a great season as a whole. Anyway, how do we sort of fix the Dallium system so that, you know, someone that the people truly believe, I guess, was the best player in a season wins the Dallium medal or wins player of the year? Uh, well, I, I was on on the side of letting the fans vote. However, if you open it up to the people, to everyone, bias can come into play very easily, very easily. And with the Proven Summons medal, 
while every year it was usually a justifiable winner, and I'm talking about the Proven Summons medal before it became the Spirit of the Game Award, when it was just the fans' player of the year, every year we'd usually get a winner that most people would agree with because the people voted for them. However, sometimes a bunch of people would get behind someone as a bit of a joke or maybe not necessarily a joke, but someone who was who's underappreciated in the game but was not the best player that season. Um, I, I think that's happened a couple of times and they've ended up making the top four or something, but in the end, the right person usually won. However, it is open to that, to that bias or to that, you know, if you give absolute free reign to everyone to vote for whoever they want, people are going to tend to vote for their favourites over who they actually think was the best. The way it needs to go, in my opinion, is the players should vote 3-2-1 at the end of the year, not after every game. At the end of the year, you give every NRL player a ballot, says 3-2-1, you write down who you're giving three points to, you write down who you're giving two points to, you write down who you're giving a point to. Then, at the end, that all gets accumulated, and we have our winner. Now, there's a similar system. I'm not sure if it goes off of points or if they list, you know, who the, their number one player was of the year, number two or number three player, but the RLPA uh, player of the year, who was this year, funnily enough, Nathan Cleary, um, was voted for by the players. So we do have a system in place for an award that many people are now starting to value over the Dahlia medal, the RLPA player of the year. So... We can't have two awards uh, for Player of the Year that the players vote for because, well, it's obviously if they're all going to vote for Nathan Cleary or the majority are going to vote for Nathan Cleary in the RLPA Player of the Year, they're going to vote for him for the Dalian Medal. So what do you do? You merge. I'm sure the RLPA would be willing to talk to the NRL about merging the Dalian Medal and the RLPA Player of the Year. You could have the event run by the RLPA. Um, you, you get them more involved. I'm sure Clint Newton would be open to discussion. And I, I'd say in the end, it'd still be the Dalian Medal Award Ceremony. It wouldn't be the R, or it could be the RLPA Dalian Award Ceremony, although that's a bit of a long title. Uh, but yeah, it's presented by the RLPA and it's the players voting. 3 2 1 at the end of the season, who they thought the best player was. You could still... I know a lot of people like the current Dalian voting system because on awards night, and I enjoy it too, you get to go through the rounds and all who's climbing up the ladder, etc. You wouldn't exactly be able to do that, but I guess you'd have more time to present other awards uh, before getting to the big one in the end. I guess you can reveal throughout the night, um, you know, who was 5th to 10th or something like that, or just build, uh, I'm no expert, but y y you can sort of work out a way to build up to eventually announcing the winner, of course you've also got the other awards to give out, team of the year, coach, captain, etc, so you've still got an awards night, and I guess you could sort of give more time to those nominees as well, you know, um, on NRL 360 last night when they presented a few of the awards, they quickly went through the nominees, then boom, this is who won it, I remember even five years ago, you know, there would be a package for each nominee and they'd really give time to the award winner to say their speech, as they still do, but they get a bit more time. There was a bit more pomp and circumstance around each individual award. And instead of just naming a team of the year, they would announce the nominees for fullback of the year and then announce the fullback of the year and they'd do a speech. I know that's a bit longer, but you know what? We're not doing the daily and points tally anymore. It's just going to be announced at the end who the player of the year is because it's voted for by the players at the end of the season. So you'd then have time for that. And that's what you fill it in with. Uh, but guys, let me know in the comments below. First of all, did Jack Whiten deserve the Dahlia medal? I still think he was a deserving, um, in the end, a deserving winner of it, especially within the current system. So did Jack White deserve the Dalian medal? And guys, what are your thoughts? How can we change this Dalian voting system to get a more fair outcome? And let me know what you think of my proposal. I've been Oliver from Rugby League, in my opinion, and I'll see you next time.